all questions and answers of the world are in the Bible. When a man-made object is broken, people fix it and make it like new. Likewise, God is the maker of the whole world and all creation. He has hidden in the Bible the root cause and the answer to problems by using about 40 human authors for about 1,600 years. This world is filled with all kinds of problems. But why are they not being resolved? I shall reveal all the problems and answer to this with the law of God, the Bible. Open your Bible to Proverbs 18, verse 17. Let us read. The first to plead his case seems light until another comes and examines him. Isaiah 52, verse 1 to 2. Awake, awake, close yourself in your strength, O Zion. Close yourself in your beautiful garments, O Jerusalem, the holy city. For the uncircumcised and the unclean will no longer come into you. Shake yourself from the dust. Rise up, O captive Jerusalem. Lose yourself from the chains around your neck, O captive daughter of Zion. I shall obey this word and declare God's defense on the case of the widow indeed, and reveal the truth about the case as the dependent. Reverend Okjushin of Grace Road Church has begun giving pastoral seminars at the Korean Church Centennial Memorial Building on June 16, 2008. And until now, for the rest of 14 years, she has been carrying out the unprecedented biblical reformation according to Hebrews 9, verse 10. Since they relate only to food and drink and various washings, regulations for the body, imposed until a time of reformation, Reverend Okju Shin saw the entire Bible as a whole and interpreted the Bible with the Bible. For 10 years, she has been carrying out the ministry of revealing the mystery of the kingdom of God hidden in the Bible. She saw, heard, believed, and acted by the Bible. Then she was detained without a warrant on July 24, 2018 at Incheon International Airport in Korea. Why? A self-proclaimed Methodist heresy evaluator named Lee had never even met Reverend Shin, but he has been slandering and attacking her by pressing the prime of cult upon her for more than 10 years to extract money. Self-proclaimed pastor Bach, who has no congregation following him, and he affiliated the Hapshin General Assembly, which is the synagogue of Satan, joined hands with the police the persecution, the media, the world's power, and the revilers who went out from us. They framed Reverend Shin as a cult leader and sentenced her to seven years of imprisonment through unlawful trial. However, today, on the 16th of June 2021, I testify on the case of the widow indeed, as God commanded, lose yourself from the chains around your neck, O captive daughter of Zion, I declare to everyone who went along with the slandering Reverend Okju Shin as a cult leader and persecuting, abusing, and imprisoning her, Reverend Okju Shin is not a cult leader at all. She is another helper, the spirit of truth, whom God had promised to send through Jesus Christ in John 40, verse 16 to 17, John 15, verse 26 and John 16, verse 7 to 15. God had already planned this before time began. The case of imprisoning Reverend Sin is obstructing the great work of God, which is to proclaim the unprecedented new covenant, the eternal covenant. That is why Jesus Christ said in Matthew 12, verse 31 to 32, Therefore I say to you, any sin and blasphemy shall be forgiven people, for blasphemy against the Spirit shall not be forgiven. Whoever speaks a word against the Son of Man, it shall be forgiven him. But whoever speaks against the Holy Spirit, it shall not be forgiven him, either in this age or in the age to come. Thus, you who persecuted and condemned Reverend Okju Shin as a cult, you will be judged. 
all disasters written in the whole Bible will come upon you, and they are being fulfilled already. Ever since the seven years of imprisonment was ruled as a final by the Supreme Court on the 27th of February 2020, the COVID-19 pandemic has been turning the whole world upside down for more than a year until now. This is a punishment from God. Believe it or not, this is the truth. I'll prove it forever and judge with the whole Bible. The truth is, Christianity has become only a regulation for the body. All religious leaders of the world that use the Bible preached only by the regulation for the body or only by the knowledge that people know by instinct. So they did not know a single verse of the mystery of the kingdom of heaven hidden in the Bible. Instead, they turned the word of the living God into words of man. This has brought about a fatal outcome. No one has ever become perfect in any age since creation. No one was born again as a true Christian. The proof is Romans 3, verse 10 to 12. As it is written, there is none righteous, not even one. There is none who understands. There is none who seeks for God. All have turned aside. Together they have become useless. There is none who does good. There is not even one. This is no exaggeration. It is absolute truth. Why did Christianity become so corrupt? The fundamental reason is they imagine the things about not only the Holy Spirit, but also things about God and Jesus Christ. This is why they become more corrupt and perished with the use of the Bible. Martin Luther claimed to lead the Reformation out of the corrupt Catholic Church in the Middle Ages. But in this process, he killed people. Look at 1 John 3, verse 15. Everyone who hates his brother is a murderer. And you know that no murderer has eternal life abiding in him. God said that the hatred is murder. Murder in the name of Reformation can never be justified. Martin Luther's Reformation is a failure. That is not the biblical reformation that God chooses. Yet the Presbyterian Church is still following Martin Luther's teachings. The pastors and churches that called for reformation merely did that by their own righteousness without knowing the times. The reformation at the human level can never succeed. The world's leaders also call for reformation, but they can never succeed. They would only expose their corrupt selves instead. To put it plainly, Christianity and all religions of the world that use the Bible do not know a single verse of God's will, that is, the mystery of the kingdom of heaven. What's more fatal is people who know nothing about God or Jesus Christ, the Holy Spirit, heaven, hell, or even the identity of Satan, devil, and demons. They preach with their lips while imagining those things with human thoughts and think they know the Bible and they have a great faith. So there is an absolute truth that everyone in the world must know. It is the word in Galatians 3, verse 22. Let us lead. But the scripture imprisoned everything under sin so that the promise by faith in Jesus Christ might be given to those who believe. God has a purpose in writing the Bible. God does not reveal the mystery of the kingdom of heaven to just anyone and any time. The scripture imprisoned everyone who used the Bible until God's appointed time, so no one could know God's will. So it says in Ecclesiastes 3 verse 11, He has made everything appropriate in its time. He has also set eternity in their heart. Yet, so that men will not find out the work which God has done from the beginning even to the end. There was the Bible scholars, people who wrote Bible dictionaries, people who translate the Bible into different languages, and there were about 40 authors who recorded the Bible. There were the disciples who were taught directly by Jesus Christ. There was four who was considered to have the highest spirituality amongst the apostles. There was even Jesus Christ, the Son of God, 
who came to this earth as a man in BC4, just as God has promised to send in this Old Testament. If Christians around the world who say only Jesus, only Jesus, hear that none of them ever taught with a perfect understanding of God's will, how many would believe? However, this is clearly the truth. The core of Christian salvation is eternal life. See what God promised through Jesus Christ in John 11, verse 25 to 26. I am the resurrection and the life. He who believes in me will live even if he dies. And everyone who lives and believes in me will never die. Do you believe this? No one except Jesus Christ has fulfilled this word of God until now. Is it not strange? There are countless Christians and Catholics around the world, yet this verse has never been fulfilled. But people do not question this. Instead, they teach that we will go to heaven when we die if we just believe in only Jesus, since Jesus died for us and forgave our sins. Reverend Okjushin has exposed that kind of spiritual state to be a lie differing from the Bible by interpreting Bible with the Bible. She has revealed the mystery of the kingdom of God, which was hidden since creation. This is why the pastors who claimed to believe in God and in Jesus Christ condemned Reverend Okju Shin as a cult. Let everyone who accused Reverend Sin of preaching doomsday hear this. The whole world's Christians said the earth will come to an end, but Reverend Okju Shin has proven from the Bible that everything God has made will never disappear. Turn to Ecclesiastes 3 verse 14. Let us lead. I know that everything God does will remain forever. There is nothing to add to it, and there is nothing to take from it. For God has so worked that men should fear him. Chapter 1 verse 4. A generation goes and a generation comes, but the earth remains forever. Jeremiah 70 verse 25. Then there will come in through the gates of this city kings and princes, sitting on the thrones of David, riding in chariots and on horses, they and their princes, the men of Judah, and the inhabitants of Jerusalem, and this city will be inhabited forever. It means the world that God has created will never perish or disappear. What is ending is only the time that God has permitted to the wicked, to people who teach lies differing from the Bible. That is why God has spoken about the last days, the latter days, the end of the world, and the end of the ages, and the day of judgment. The real heretical cults are people who preach that the earth will come to an end, even though the Bible clearly says that everything God does will remain forever. So many pastors around the world ignore all of the word of God written throughout the Bible and make up lies differing from the Bible in their own way. There are people who spread the lie that the demon sound, which they call the tongues, is a sign of receiving the Holy Spirit. There are people who deceive others by claiming to cast out demons in Jesus' name. People who preach rapture before the tribulation or rapture during the tribulation. There are people who preach that anyone who just believes in Jesus will go to heaven when they die. Some teach the lie that people who commit suicide still went to heaven. Some preach that all your sins are forgiven, no matter what sin it is, if you just say only Jesus. Others say that even murderers can go to heaven if they just confess with their lips that they believe in Jesus. They are all Satan, devil, and demons who teach lies differing from the Bible. These people are the angels of hell and the cult who are using Jesus' name to lead both themselves and the congregation to hell. Also, the term God the Son and the God the Spirit shows their complete ignorance of God as God. That is how the congregation is led to sin even more as they go to church. The pastors were also deceived by the enemy inside themselves, so they do not even realize that they are the devils disguised as angels of light. 
And the congregation there is worshiping an idol. Now they realize that they are sacrificed to demons and not to God. That is why God said, Beloved, do not believe every spirit, but test the spirits to see whether they are from God. In 1 John 4, verse 1, people even argue that religion is pointless. What is clear reason for this? It is because all Christian leaders did not understand a single verse of the word of the Creator God. They think that just saying only Jesus is having great faith and they are drunk with a strong drink. Turn to Job 33, verse 13. Let us lead. Why do you complain against him that he does not give an account of all his doings? Everyone must know the biblical truth that God does his work through people. Look at 2 Timothy 3, verse 16. All scripture is inspired by the God and profitable for teaching, for reproof, for correction, for training in righteousness. Thus, you must hear God's reproof to understand what sin is, what righteousness is, and what judgment is, and turn away from sin. But how will you hear God's reproof? God does not give an account of all his doings. He has written the Bible through people. He also used the people when he spoke. God spoke to the people of Israel through Moses, who recorded the first five books of the Bible. God also spoke through Jesus Christ to the people at that time and the disciples. Thus, when God gives reproof, he used the people to reprove. John 16 verse 8 says, When the Spirit of truth comes, he will convict the world concerning sin and righteousness and judgment. This also means the Spirit of Truth, who comes in fresh, convicts the world with the Word of God. Whoever does not acknowledge Jesus Christ as coming in the flesh is a deceiver and the Antichrist. Likewise, whoever does not acknowledge the Spirit of Truth as coming as a person is a heretical cult and Antichrist. There is countless proof in the Bible that the Spirit of Truth is an actual person. When Jesus Christ promised to send the Spirit of Truth, He said, I tell you the truth. That was to testify, not just the truth about His resurrection and ascending to God's right hand, but that the Spirit of Truth will also come in reality. The truth means actual form, actual appearance, actual state and the certain reality. Of all the reasons that Jesus Christ came in reality, the biggest reason is God knew all too well that people will not believe this prophecy and blaspheme instead. That is why God sent the Son to be born in flesh as a man on this earth 2,025 years ago. This word was to speak the truth about another helper, the Spirit of Truth, the proof of this is Hebrews 11, verse 1. Now, faith is the assurance of things hoped for, the conviction of things not seen. Things hoped for means to want or to expect something to come true as a thought. What should the people who believe in Jesus Christ and in God want and expect? If you are true Christians who truly worship God, you must not want your own wish. You must want and expect things according to what is written in the Word of God, in the truth that is the Bible. What did the people of faith, the fathers of faith, believe and look for? Look at Hebrews 11 verse 10. For he was looking for the city, which has foundations, whose architect and builder is God. They live in the promised land as they look for the city, which has foundations, whose architect and builder is God. The foundation means the city of the new Jerusalem, the city of Zion, the city where God abides forever, the city that God creates again. This has never come true in any age since creation. But now, the time has come for it to be fulfilled. Let us read Isaiah 1 verse 23. 
your rulers are levels and companions of thieves. Everyone loves a bribe and chases after rewards. They do not defend the orphan, nor does the widow's plea come before them. This prophet written through prophet Isaiah in BC 700 has come true 2,718 years later on the 21st of July 2018. Even until now, today's pastors who are the rulers are not defending the widow's plea. This widow does not mean just any widow. There are self-proclaimed pastors who say that Reverend Okju Shin is interpreting the Bible in her own way. Here is the proof that what they claim is not true. Turn to 1 Timothy 5 verse 9. A widow is to be put on the wrist only if she is not less than 60 years old, having been the wife of one man. The widow indeed is a person who has the widow's plea when she is not less than 60 years old. Reverend Okju Sin's date of birth is June 16, 1959. In the year that she turned 60 years old, she was accused with the world law by the self-proclaimed pastors, self-proclaimed Christians who were slandering her as a cult leader, and by the liberals who went out from us. From that year, she has been imprisoned for two years and 11 months now. Even physically, she was the wife of one man, and spiritually, she truly believed in one husband, Jesus Christ, and carried out his commandments. This is a prophecy about Reverend Okju Shin, who has perfectly fulfilled this in spirit and in flesh. There can never be a widow indeed in any other age. This widow pre has come true in God's appointed time to her. Here is another proof that Reverend Okju Shin is a widow indeed. Let us read 1 Timothy 5, verse 10. Having a reputation for good works, and if she has brought up children, if she has shown hospitality to strangers, if she has washed the saints' feet, if she has assisted those in distress, and if she has devoted herself to every good work. Just as the little Reverend Shin has been bringing up the children of God, with the eternal gospel, the word of the new covenant for the rest of 14 years. The widow indeed, who has a reputation for good works, has to be a person who is the fulfillment of Hosea 2, verse 19 to 20. I will betroth you to me forever. Yes, I will betroth you to me in righteousness and in justice, in loving kindness and in compassion. And I will betroth you to me in faithfulness, then you will know the Lord. Thus, the spirit of truth has to be a woman physically. Also, she has to be a reverend, who is the angel of the church in Philadelphia, who has the key of David to open the mystery of the kingdom of heaven. The spirit of truth was written in many portions and many ways throughout the whole Bible like this. This cannot be anyone else in any other age. Look at 1 Timothy 5, verse 19 to 20. Do not receive an accusation against the elder, except on the basis of two or three witnesses. Those who continue in sin rebuke in the presence of all, so that the rest also will be fearful of sinning. The accusation against the elder is a widow's plea, written in many portions and many ways. It is not a plea for the pastors who are imprisoned for their own personal wrongdoing. Reverend Okju Shin and Grace Lord Church members pre is the case that God has already appointed from before creation. An elder is not an elder that Christians know by instinct. This is the 24 elders prophesied in Revelation. It is a prophecy about Grace Lord Church members who are the eternal servants created again with the eternal gospel, the word of the new covenant. Two or three witnesses does not literally mean two or three people that people know by instinct. It means Reverend Okju Shin and the Grace Road Church members who have received the testimony that Jesus is the Christ and are receiving the teaching of God, which is given through the Reverend, who is perfectly in agreement with the Father, 
the Son, and the Spirit in the time to declare the unprecedented new covenant, which is the interpretation of the biblical tongue. God has commanded to rebook those who continue in sin in the presence of all, so that the rest also will be fearful of sinning. This is the stretching probe that was carried out according to the word. Now, I declare to the whole world about accusing the stretching probe of being an assault and a special violence. Before God and man, Reverend Ok Ju Shin and Grace Lord Church members have never committed any of the accused crimes. The widow's case of falsely accused Reverend Ok Ju Shin of being heretical and disrupting the good work of God and imprisoning her by accusing her with the world's blow is indictment, which God has prophesied about before. The widow indeed, Reverend Ok Ju Shin, was born on this earth. He had already prophesied of this in B.C. 700 in Isaiah and B.C. 1400 through Moses. Look at Job 31 verse 35. Oh, that I had one to hear me. Behold, here is my signature. Let the Almighty answer me, and the indictment which my adversary has written. This indictment was neither against Apostle Paul, who was accused and imprinted back in first coming, nor was it the accusation that Jesus Christ went through. It is also not the prophecy about the person Job, who wrote the words, the indictment which my adversary has written. This is a prophecy about the indictment against Reverend Ok Ju Shin now in this age. Neither Apostle Paul nor Jesus Christ had the indictment which my adversary has written. So they could not oppose the adversary in judgment, and they were sentenced to death. However, the widow indeed, Reverend Ok Ju Shin, has the indictment which my adversary has written both the spiritual indictment proving from the whole Bible and the actual indictment of the accusers written against her. The reason Reverend Ok Ju Shin was imprisoned is not because of committing any of the sins that the people of the world speak or think of. The clear proof of this is a fact that we have the indictment of my adversaries who first testified to sentence seven years of imprisonment. If we did not have the written indictment, we would not have been able to reveal the truth about how unfair this judgment is. But in this age, for the widow indeed, Reverend Ok Ju Shin, and Grace Lord Church members, we have all of the indictment which my adversary has written. We have proof to expose their lies about how they testified falsely against Reverend Ok Ju Shin and the written indictment of how they took an oath in court and testified falsely. We have also got judgment to face upon those who testified falsely. The date to announce the beginning is the 16th of June, 2021. Reverend Ok Ju Shin will explain by the Bible, by the truth, why the accusation against the widow has occurred, why she is bearing this shame in all the world, and she will prove that pursuit cannot win against the truth. She knows God's will in permitting the accusation against the widow, so she has kept the word in 1 Corinthians 13 verse 7. She has kept this before, she is keeping it now, and she will keep it forevermore. Love bears all things, believes all things, hopes all things, endures all things. The truth is fulfilled exactly on this earth. The case of widow is God's testimony that only the Bible is the truth and that only the Creator God is the true God. In other words, this is a proof that there is no God apart from God and that there is no other truth apart from the Word of God, the Bible. The Word of God is real and not imaginary. Jesus Christ is real. The words that Jesus Christ spoke is the truth. And the Spirit of truth is also real 
and not imaginary. This I shall prove forever and ever. Amen. Amen.